The Golden by Luke Lucursio. Act One. Exterior forested farmstead morning. Dawn paints itself across a small farmstead that whispers hints of the northeast. A beautiful voice greets us, angelic yet weathered. She speaks over the swaying green trees that brush the morning sky. I should have stayed with Michael and rode the coattails of eternity tirelessly. Trees and a fence line. And burned in the rapture repeatedly, victorious in the proverbial battle. Beat. Winged. A garden. I should have refused the place between heaven and hell since despising its strangeness. A humble country home set on a hill. I had some inkling of birth and death, our hearts cleaving itself in grief, the fleeting joy, if indeed any, the palm waited with all and nothing, then the pluck. Interior bedroom early morning. Golden morning light weaves its way through dancing cream-colored curtains. A children's drawing of a lake hang on the wall. Grace McHugh, a classical brunette with shimmering sea-green eyes, lay on her side, staring at her husband across from her. John McHugh is a kind-looking man with a light complexion and dark hair. He smiles as he watches the breeze push his wife's hair across her face. The bedroom door creaks open and the face of a sweet little girl peeks in from around the door. It's their daughter Mary, who is about the age of five. She has curly, light brown hair, hazel eyes, and an adorable smile that would melt any hardened soul. She smiles, wipes her groggy face, and shuffles over to the bed and crawls in with her parents. And where can you find God in nature? Interior, church classroom, late morning. Grace teaches a small group of young children, including Mary. Can you find his spirit in a dandelion? A spring crocus? Maybe a lilac? What about a crystal clear stream? Or a soft breeze? She looks around the classroom. Alice, a pudgy little girl with a rosy face, raises her hand. Yes, Alice? A tree. Good one. A tree. It's barky skin, green leaves in the summer, orange, red, and yellow in the fall, and of course, it's long, sleeping, and creeping branches in the winter. What else? Jack, a handsome little guy in the back, waves his hand. Jack? A squirrel? Squirrels, too. They're bushy tails, they're acrobatics and hasty acorn harvesting. John appears at the door and knocks. Grace takes a moment and heads over. Great example so far. Keep thinking. Just a moment. She walks over and opens the door. Everything is set up for you. I'm going to go help Adam and Carol for a bit. He waves to his Mary. Okay, we'll be out soon. Love you. You too. He gives her a quick kiss on the cheek and walks off down a wood-laden church hallway. Another teacher waves to him as he passes by. Some of the children ooh over John's kiss while Mary blushes. Grace re-enters the classroom. Okay, we have time for a couple more. Who's next? Hands raise. 